الذين يتبعون الرسول النبي الأمي الذي يجدونه مكتوبا الذي يجدونه مكتوبا عندهم في التوراة والإنجيل. That was a verse in the Quran. It was verse number 157 in chapter number 7. Uh, the translation goes as those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find mentioned in the Torah and the Gospel. So this is a proof that Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. Muhammad is not mentioned anywhere in the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible does it make reference to Muhammad or any of the things that he did. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been mentioned in the Old Testament of the Bible by reference. Looking in Deuteronomy 18.18 18, where it says, I shall raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto you. And I shall put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. So here we notice a few things. One, God is speaking about the brethren. The brethren of who? Like unto you. Like unto you is Moses. Who are the brethren of Moses? If we go back in the line, all the way back to Abraham, peace be upon him, where he had two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. Basically, the tribes from uh, Israel, which Moses belonged to, came from Isaac. And the brethren of Isaac was Ishmael. So this is their brethren. This is where the prophet's going to come from. He will be like Moses. And who is the prophet most like Moses? This is the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Also from this, he shall speak my words which I put in his mouth, and he will tell you know, all that I command him. This is exactly the prophet Muhammad, how the revelation came to him. Where the angel would receive revelation from God, and then directly he would say to the prophet Muhammad, and the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would command it and tell it to his followers. This is talking about Jesus. It is clearly about Jesus. Everything that Jesus said or did came directly from God. In the New Testament, Jesus... He asserts this seven times in the New Testament that everything he does, everything he says, comes directly from God. The first point. Moses and Muhammad had natural births, but Jesus had an unnatural birth. Number two, the family life of Moses and Muhammad was normal. They were both married, they both had children, but Jesus was not married and he did not have children. Number three, the death of Moses and Muhammad was natural, but Jesus was raised to Allah. Number four, the career of Moses and Muhammad. They are both prophets and statesmen, statesmen, but Jesus was only a prophet. Number five, both Moses and Muhammad were forced to immigrate in, ad, in adulthood. Prophet Moses was forced to uh, Median and Prophet Muhammad was forced to Medina, but Jesus had nothing of that sort. Number six, the encounters with the enemies of Moses and Muhammad. Both of them were involved in hot pursuits and battles, but Jesus had, again, nothing of that sort. And with regards to the results of those encounters, number seven, both Mo Moses and Muhammad had moral and physical victories, but Jesus had only a spiritual or moral victory. Number eight, both prophets Moses and Muhammad were sent down from mountains. Moses was sent down from Mount Sinai. Moses, uh, Muhammad, rather, was sent down from Mount Anur. Jesus, again, was not sent down from a mountain. Number nine, the writing down of Revelation. In the lifetime of Moses and Muhammad, their, their scriptural revelations were both written down, but Jesus, his gospel was not written down, it was an oral message. The nature of their teachings, number 10, the teachings of Moses and Muhammad was uh, spiritual as well as legal, but the teachings of Jesus was only spiritual. And the last point, number 11, the acceptance of leadership. Both Moses and Muhammad were accepted by their people, the majority of their people, during their lifetime, but Jesus was, of course, rejected and then later accepted. With regard to point number 11, the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 11, says about Jesus, He came unto his own, but his own received him not. So clearly, this, these 11 points prove that Moses is more similar to Muhammad than uh, he is similar to uh, Jesus. So another reference to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was actually found in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse 12, where it says, And the book is given to him, who is illiterate, saying, please read this, and he says, I cannot read. Again, this is not Mohammed. Uh, they're talking about not learn here, not being able to read. This is, they're not talking about academic reading. It's, it's spiritual. They're talking about the spiritual deafness of the people. Which will happen. This is a prophecy. The people will be unlearned. In the year of 610, common era, Gabriel came to the prophet Muhammad. And he told him, read. And prophet Muhammad says, I can't read. In Arabic it goes, Iqra. And he says, Ma Arabicada. This is the same story that all Muslims know about the, the first revelation to the Prophet Muhammad. And this is the same 
as in the vest uh, in the Bible. Mohammed is not in the Bible. Just show me one place, one place in the Bible where Mohammed is mentioned by name. My Bible is in English. I said, show me the Bible. I want to see where Mohammed is. As you just heard from the Song of Solomon's chapter 5, verse 16, in the original Hebrew language, Hekko Mamtakim Bechalo Mohammedim. Who is this Muhammad mentioned in the Bible? It's, this is a name for the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad. And the im at the end of Muhammad is a plural of respect for God's Prophet, just like God Himself has given a plural of respect in His name, Elo or Elohim. So, the verse we just looked at here in the Hebrew was from the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16, where it says, He is altogether lovely. And this is referring to the name Muhammad or Muhammadim, as it's pronounced there. The thing is, though, this chapter, you know, some biblical scholars have said that this is referring to Jesus. When in fact it's not referring to Jesus, and the name Muhammad is found there specifically. So this chapter, this uh, parable that's here, is referring specifically to the Prophet Muhammad. And they translated his name as it is translated. But you don't translate names. This is a name. It should remain there. You don't translate Benjamin as son of the right. As in Arabic, bin Yamin. You don't say son of the right. You leave his name as Benjamin. So this is a perfect example where the Prophet Muhammad is mentioned by name in the Old Testament. I have read the Bible many, many times, and not once have I ever heard Mohammed or Mohammedim anywhere in the Bible. It's not there. That verse was uh, verse number 6 in chapter 61. God says, and this is the translation in English, and remember when Jesus, the son of Mary, said, O oh, children of Israel, I am a messenger of Allah sent to you, confirming the Torah which came before me and giving glad tidings of a, of a messenger to come after me. His name shall be Ahmed. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 16, it says, I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Right. Jesus is going to send the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Yes, but... The comforter here refers to the Prophet Muhammad because the Greek word used for comforter is parakletos, which means praise one, or one who is worthy of praise. If you go back to the prophecy mentioned earlier about uh, the Prophet to come after Jesus, Ahmed, Ahmed is an Arabic name which means the praise one, or the one worthy of praise. And also the Prophet Muhammad means the one who is worthy of praise as well. So clearly here the comforter is the Prophet Muhammad, even from the linguistic Similarity. Also, go back to John's letter, 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 to 2. It talks about spirits and it equates the concept of spirits with prophets. And it says that any spirit who recognizes that Jesus has come from God in the flesh is a true spirit, meaning a true prophet. So, Prophet Muhammad is indeed that Holy Spirit. And he did accept Jesus as Messiah. Therefore, he is a true prophet according to the biblical standard. After seeing all this evidence, I think we are all convinced that Prophet Muhammad was mentioned in the Bible. So we need to follow his teachings. We need to follow Islam. We all need to be Muslims because this is the, the religion, which is Islam, the religion that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us uh, to, to follow. I'm a former Christian who accepted Islam 10 years ago. And what I did was simply use my God-given intellect and reached out for uh, truth from God spiritually by praying to Him. And I ask you to do the same thing. Go back again, look at all the points we made, pray to God about it, and investigate. And may Allah guide you to the truth. I accepted Islam four years ago. I'm a former Christian. I was playing a part of a Christian again in this video. So you kind of get um, kind of both sides here. What you need to do is exactly what I did, is use your own mind, uh, read your book, and ask God for guidance. After all that, how can you not be a Muslim and accept Muhammad as your prophet? Yeah, really, glory be to God. Even, even myself, I'm also a former Christian, and there's plenty of examples of former Christians in our community and worldwide. So, you know, this is not a strange way of life. This is the truth. 
So find out about Islam, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Okay, see you soon. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. The Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I'm smiling. One second. The Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Just say. <laughs> Cut. One thousand and one. So clearly, this point. Almost at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so With regards to point number. What's this, man? Sorry, man. What did you do here? I have read the Bible many. Uh, okay, again. Okay. Cool. In the Bible, show me once Mohammed in the Bible. Oh, sir. Name. 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 I forgot. I didn't even watch the. Okay. Chapter 1, verse number 6. Both prophets Moses and Jesus had normal births, but Jesus. Did I say Jesus? No, I meant to say Mohammed. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we gave you in this video. Think about it, use your mind, use your intellect, and also pray. <laughs> <laughs>